Well, a Homeland Security showdown on Capitol Hill. Senate Republicans moving to block the president's executive action on immigration, including amnesty for millions of illegal immigrants. The budget fight coming to a head today as Democrats threaten a filibuster. David Webb is a radio talk show host and columnist for The Hill, and Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host. Both Fox News contributors, thank you both for joining us. Oh, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Leslie, I'll start with you. Who wins this showdown? Oh, I think the American people lose if the GOP doesn't care about and put the best interest of America, their security and their safety uh, before politics and a vendetta, if you will, over immigration. Uh, this goes far beyond immigration. How can we ask men and women who are putting their lives on the line, literally on that border line, uh, as Border Patrol agents, and also with a party that says we need more agents, we need to secure our border. How do we do that with less funding and no paychecks? to these people. This is not what America elected our politicians left or right to do. And uh, Republicans, on the other hand, would say that this is not about security or DHS funding. This is about overreach mm -hmm. from the president. Listen to what uh, John Boehner had to say just moments ago in a news conference. No, I don't think anyone wants to shut down the Department of Homeland Security. What we want to do is to want to block the president's executive actions uh, that were beyond the law and beyond his ability to make. David, is this the right strategy? Yes, it is. And this is, look, Leslie wants to go to the obvious, which is let's talk about the DHS workers. The Republicans want to fund them and have put proposal, proposals forward to fund DHS. What we don't want to do is fund Obama's de facto amnesty and another 600,000 dreamers. And when you look at this administration and the release of federal documents in a recent FOIA request by the Center for Immigration Studies, this president, his administration, have given work permits in some form to over 5.4 million. Listen to that number. 5.4 million people who have come here in some form or another since 2009 and over 900,000 illegals. So we've got to stop his agenda, which is basically to balkanize, to enact de facto amnesty, to play to his base over the interests of the American people, which is security on the border, not get telling our agents they should use bean bags against bullets, but how about, how about enforcing current law and at the same time, doing the job of the federal government, which is to handle immigration safely and <laughs> sanely. And, and Leslie, how do you justify those numbers when you talk about 5.4 million work permits for non-immigrant foreigners? Well, one of the things David does and what we do with numbers is we give the numbers that help to support our argument, right? You know, I love you, David, but let's also talk about numbers of those deported uh, that the president is criticized by uh, many, not just on the left, but in the Hispanic, the Latino community for. Uh, in addition to that, the fact that immigration has been down and as core immigration has been down, no, what's the uh, number, illegal immigration Leslie, into this country has numbers. been down over... What's immigration the numbers, immigration Leslie, numbers have been down over the years, the not up, David. And tell in addition to that, in addition to that, David, no, tell when, me we the look at the, when we numbers. look at when you look at enforcing the laws on the book, the federal laws on the book, I agree with you. The problem is that there have been people in this country for longer than I've been in this country, and I was born here illegally, and no politician, left or right, did anything about it, never went after the corporations dangling the carrot of opportunity in the form of a job. So this isn't just an agenda by the president. This is to push Congress for immigration reform, which is necessary. It'll be political suicide to the right if they don't address it. But for the time being, what we've got a growing, law, we've got a growing to, body of no terrorists no, called Filler, ISIS and Al-Qaeda who are trying to build counter Face. This is not the time to David, defund Homeland Security. David, we do have to wrap, security. and you do get the final word here, though. Okay, but Leslie is this Filler a losing strategy for numbers. Republicans? Look, it's a good strategy for the American people. This matters to American security. Leslie talks numbers, then she goes off into ideology. The numbers matter here. The president and this administration also count anyone turned around at the border as, quote, deported. 
that is not actually a deportation. So the numbers are fudged on that side. And the reason Leslie can't provide them is they don't exist to support her argument. But we've got to deal with existing laws which exist, laws which have been rewritten and updated in 2006, 2007, and have been ignored by this administration that All refuses right. to take security mm -hmm. as a key it issue. Have to wrap it there. Thank you both for joining us. A vote expected in the Senate tonight. We'll see what happens. Thank you.